Next news is out of the USA. A creationist says the Bible is true because God says the Bible is true. In an interview for wait, why Pure is this news? Like, Isn't, hasn't this been forever? <laughs> Okay. This is this is like every week. A new yeah. person saying it though. In an interview for Pure Flix, Bodie Hodge of Answers in Genesis was asked about why the Bible should be trusted over, say, the Book of Mormon. He answered, Well, let's just start off with the fact that the Bible is true. All others are not true. The biggest key. God is true. And if his words and if it's and his word that comes from him is also true. So Answers in Genesis, for anyone who knows why anyone even cares what Bodie Hodge has to say oh, about this, um, Answers in Genesis is Ken Ham's business. It's his um, his nonprofit that helps you know, uh, him get him where he is. So they have little shows and they have movies that they put out for children uh, teaching them why science isn't real um, and Christian science is much more believable. It's ridiculous uh, if you've never seen it. But Answers in Genesis is is kind of a big deal um, in the creationist movement. Actually, I'm glad that we covered this because at first I was like, let me tell you why I think this is important. Because Sopam is saying what else is new, right? Like, I agree. Like, uh, we've heard that Christians saying, well, the Bible is true because the Bible says, <clears> so. like, so, like, you know, God is, you know, it comes from God. Why is God, why is there a God? Because the Bible says so. Or why, how do you trust the Bible? Because it comes from God. Like, it's such a, a ridiculous circular argument that anybody with, that uses two brain cells could see what the problem with that is. Uh, but it's also a very common argument that we hear from Christians. But what, why I now change my mind that it's important that we cover this? Because a lot of people think that this comes from just the, like the layman Christians, right? But no, Answers in Genesis is, a huge organization like these people are supposed to be in, really good at defending Christianity like this is a, a major organization that is supposed to be a Christian apologist and coming up with the best arguments for defending the Bible and representing Christianity like this is not a small this is not just like average average Christian that is coming out of a church something right uh, and this guy is this guy a big deal part of or is this just uh, like who is this guy I've never heard of him before. Okay, but if you're, but when what what this story shows is that this line of argument, it like I mean the source is a pretty good source. This is Hamad Mehta, so uh, it's not like one of those titles that is misrepresenting what the guy is saying, right? So I trust him. Uh, Hamad Mehta picked the right title, right? So, but if this is the if this is the line of argument that is coming from this organization, then you have to see how low the standard is for for what what passes on as an argument, right? Um, I mean, it's good that we cover these things so people sometimes get reminded. Like, yeah, this, they're saying they're still saying the same shit. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.